What's up gamers? It's Jeffrey back here at Flippin' Profit. Uh, just want to make you guys a video real quick. Um, somebody asked me not too long ago how I take my photos and it is always a good video to put out showing uh, how you take your eBay photos because everybody does things differently it seems like. So with that being said let me give you a little tour. This is the setup right here. I have a uh, oh uh, never mind this junk down here this is my uh procrastination pile <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't procrastinate like seriously though this stuff has been strategically placed down here but either way this is a two foot by four foot table little folding out table um and then i have this cloth back here it's one of those white uh i forget exactly what they're called but it's like a white cloth for taking photos and then i have these two lights right here these big box lights which um they're kind of always in the way, to be honest. That's why I keep them stuffed over here in the corner. Gives me a little bit of working room over here and stuff. But, And I also have a new addition up here. My dad actually hooked me up with these, just little uh, LED strip lights or whatever. You just put these little brackets. Put them little brackets in the ceiling, slide the tube in there. Pretty nice lights. They add a lot more uh, definition to my photos and stuff like that. But yeah, so basically... When I'm doing hard goods or shoes, um, taking pictures of VCRs, toys, shoes, stuff like that, I like to use this white background. I kind of just set my uh, lights up, something like that, from an angle, and then I can take a photo right here in the middle of it. And then I also pull the sheet up on the table here. I'll do that really quick. So with everything going, this is actually what it looks like. I turn the lights on, so it's making it very dark uh, looking away from the lights, I mean. Um, so yeah, here's the sheet up here. Nice uh, nice and white. Um, there is, It's even dirty right here, but so a lot of new resellers want to know how you get that flat white background and um depending on the camera you have like right now the camera i used to take my photos is actually the one that i'm filming with right now it's a panasonic dmc zs3 um digital camera does pretty well but um the feature on it the thing you want to mess with to uh make that flat white background is the exposure um it won't let me change it while i'm recording right now but i, w I was going to turn up the exposure but if you want more brightness or more whiteness uh, around your item, um, you turn up the exposure. You don't want to go too high though because then it'll start distorting your um, your actual item. It'll start making it look way brighter or different color than what it is. So you turn that up a little bit and then when you're actually on the computer and you've uploaded photos to eBay, you can edit that photo and you want to turn up the brightness and turn up the contrast just a little bit and that'll also help the uh, background go to white. So hope that answers the question. A lot of people always, you know, can't figure that out, can't figure out that little trick and I'm not the best with it. I'm no expert at it. Depending on the color or the shades of the item that you're taking the picture of, it can differ between how much exposure you need and how much uh, brightness and contrast to adjust it to uh, get that flat white background but it's always something to play with photos are always something difficult to take but the setup that I'm trying to achieve here is that I know in like filming and taking photos you want three points of light or whatever so three angles of light one from the back and then two from the left and right side so that you're looking right in the center like this and although I don't have a light coming from the back, this um, white background kind of, it reflects light. And that's why I do have the LED light up top. So it's coming down and reflecting the light from the back forward. That'll help not put a shadow, like if I put a big object here, there won't be too much of a shadow behind it. So, But if you don't have a light like this, you can always... Um, Maybe stick you another light from an angle over here pointing towards the back or both sides. That's also why I have these kind of angled from the side, pointing from the side and forward. So that hopefully some of that, if there's any shadow casting um, beside the items, some of this light creeps back there and uh, helps get rid of that shadow. So that's basically it for my hard goods photos. But when it comes to taking pictures for clothing... I actually like using a wooden background right now. So here is my background that I use for clothing. This is just a, a piece of wood paneling, like wall paneling that I got at Home Depot. Um, it was a more lighter color. Let me see if I can show you the back under there. Yeah, it's a totally different color. I threw a stain on it, an ebony 
wood stain on here to make it a little bit darker and um, I really like it. I think it's three and a half by four and a half feet wide. If you go to Home Depot and get one of these, you can actually ask them to cut it down to size for you right there. And then just pick you up a little can of uh, ebony stain and roll it on there. And you'll have yourself a nice little cheap uh, clothing background. It is a little bit easier to uh, hang the clothes up and take photos with a big hanger. But what is nice about laying it down is that I use a yardstick to actually show the measurements on the clothing in a picture. And so that's nice to have it already flat and laying down. It's easy to just, whenever you need to take that measurement photo, grab the yardstick, throw it on there, and take a picture. So that is the uh, nice thing about having this. And for some reason, the wooden background kind of brings a little bit more contrast, a little bit more flavor to the photo. And I don't know. I just decided to do this, decided to try it out, liked it, and been using it ever since. As you'll notice too, I did change the way the lights are set up. They're on the sides pointing at each other. I even made myself, because I'm smart, a little mark in the middle. So every time I put up my lights, I know exactly where to put the uh, stand and make sure that it's directly in the center. And that's because I'm laying the clothes flat, so I don't need to create all those three angles. I just need to get light shining down on top of the clothing. So that's basically it for my uh, clothing setup. And that's kind of my setup for everything when I take pictures for eBay. The lights that I'm using are these, what is it, LS Studio. Sorry, they're kind of dusty on top. Um, I think I paid like $60, $65 for these. Um, it actually, they have four bulbs inside here. I don't know if y'all can see down in there. Yeah, so there's four bulbs inside there. So they're super bright. But um, I think, you know, the ones, the cheaper ones that only have single bulbs, they'll probably work just as good. Another tip is that if you have a window close by, you might want to open up the window and have, you know, natural light coming in. Because the best light for taking photos is natural light. So if you have any room in your house that has lots of windows, if you're able to take pictures in that room, I would do so. Because, like I say, natural light is always the best. I've even heard of some people that only take photos during the day because they always use natural light. Like I said, everybody's got their own way of doing things. So I hope that helps out any of you that's been wondering how to uh, make some of those photos, get that flat white background, and also the uh, different, you know, wooden backgrounds you can make for uh, clothing or whatever you want to do. You know, there's, uh, there's different clothes. Cloth. Uh, you can know uh, you can buy like black cloths and blue cloths. You can even use paper. I know people use like big wide rollout paper for backgrounds. Um, I might actually switch to that soon because it does work very well. And if it gets dirty, you can just tear it off and roll out some more paper. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you're looking for some lighting, I do have some links down in the description. You can get lighting just like mine, or even some cheaper kind. Um, I would like to upgrade eventually to some LED lighting, LED stands like this. They're just uh, not so big, not so spacious, and they can create just as much light. So definitely, you know, if you have the money, I would go out and get the LED lights first. Um, save yourself some space. Because, yeah, these things can be really annoying sometimes. They'll be in the way. They take up a lot of... I say they take up a lot of space, but I mean, I stuff them in a corner that I don't really, I'm just stacking shoes up in that corner anyway, so. But that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more uh, eBay tips. If you're new to my channel and you want some videos on more eBay tips, then check out some of my playlists. Also, if you're new to reselling and need some shipping supplies on the cheap, cheap end, even some, you know, uh, reselling equipment, photo taking equipment, stuff like that, check out my affiliate links down in the description. If you purchase something through one of those links, I make a small commission on it, which helps out the channel directly, so I really appreciate it. Thanks to each and every one of you for watching my videos, and until I see y'all next time, keep flipping.